<laughs> this is the question from IPMAT indoor exam 2024 QA essay section. So here we need to find the pairs of X and Y, the number of pairs of X and Y that satisfy this inequality. So what we can say is more both of these parts of this inequality, mod of X minus 5 and mod of Y minus 5, they will be uh, either positive or 0. They cannot be negative. That means the sum of these two can uh, at least be 0 and at max can be 6. So if this sum mod of x minus 5 and mod of y minus 5. This sum can be 0 or 1 or 2 or 3 or 6. So for different uh, values of the sum, values of x and y will be different and hence we will get different pairs for x and y. So we'll start with the first value of the sum that is 0. If the sum of these two is 0, then what can be the values of x and y? So if the sum of these two positive or uh, non-negative numbers is 0, then we can uh, say definitely that mod of x minus y, x minus 5 will have to be 0 and mod of y minus 5 will also have to be 0. If that happens, then we will get only one value of x from here that will be x equal to 5 and only one value of y from here that is y equal to 5. So this is the only one set of x and y that we get. So if the sum is 0, we will get only one pair for x, y. That will be 5, 5. So that is one such pair. We will have to find how many pairs exist. So we will have to also go to the other possible values of the sum which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So if the sum is, let us say, mod of x minus 5 and mod of y minus 5, if the sum is 1, now what happens? <laughs> so if the sum is 1, then there are two possibilities. Either mod of x minus 5 will be 1 and mod of y minus 5 will be 0. Right? In this, uh, or the second possibility is, that mod of x minus 5 is 0 and mod of y minus 5, that is 1. So either this is 0, this is 1 or the reverse. This is 1, this is 0. So we have written both the possibilities. So if this is the case, here I will get two values. If mod of x minus 5 is 1, then x minus 5 can be written as plus or minus 1. So x will be either 6 or 4. So I will get two values for x. But I will get only one value for y. So we can write an answer for x comma y. That can be 6, 5. Or we can say it will be 4, 5. So these are two values for uh, x, x comma y, the pair. Similarly, we will get two values from here also. So I will not solve here. In fact, you should also not solve in the exam because we know for sure that this will be the similar solution as in this case. So we will get two values from here as well. Right. So one uh, more thing that will help us in uh, this question is whenever the value of one of them is an integer and the other is zero, we will always get two answers. Right. We'll see in the next case when the sum of these two is 2, if mod of x minus 5 and mod of y minus 5, they add up to 2. So one possibility is, one possibility is mod of x minus 5 is 2 and mod of y minus 5 is 0. Second possibility is ulta, mod of x minus 5 is 0 and mod of y minus 5 is 2. Right. So in this case, again, we will get two answers for x, similar uh, like we did in the first case, x minus 5 is plus or minus 2, and we will get y equal to 5 only. So x can be 7 or 3, and y is 5. So we will get two answers from here. So 7, 5, and 3, 5. And similarly, we will get two answers from here. So as I said in the previous case, whenever one of the mods is equal to 0 and other is equal to some integer, there will always be 
two solutions, right? So if we reverse the case, then again, there will be two solutions. So here also, it was a similar case. One mod had a possible value of integer, of a non-zero integer, and the other mod was equal to zero. So we got two solutions. And when we reverse the values, again, we'll got, we get two solutions, right? So there is one more case here because the sum is equal to two. So there is one more possibility that mod of x minus five and mod of y minus five, if that is equal to two, so we can say x minus five is equal to one and y minus five is also equal to one, right? So in this case, x itself will have two values and y will have two values. So x will be equal to four or six, y will be equal to again four or six. So x comma y, the x comma y will have four values, four, 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 six, six, four, and six, six. So this will be four values. So one thing that we can conclude from here is whenever x minus five and y minus five, both are equal to some integer, non-zero integer, then there will be four pairs of x and y. So here we'll get four pairs. So how many pairs have we got till now? One in the first case, two plus two, four in the second case, two plus two plus four, eight in the third case. So uh, till now what we have uh, received is one plus four plus eight. So 13 pairs. So now in the next cases, mod of x minus 5 and mod of y minus 5, if the sum is 3, we can simply use the learnings from the previous cases. If we go with this case, the so mod of x minus 5 can be 3 and mod of y minus 5 can be 0. In this case, there will be two solutions as we have just discussed that if one of the mods is equal to zero and other is equal to some non-zero integer, then there will be two solutions. If we reverse the case, mod of x minus five is zero and mod of y minus five is three, then also there will be two solutions, right? So I will not solve, you should also not solve because that will take a lot of time. Second case can be mod of x minus five is equal to two and mod of y minus five is equal to one. So if both the parts are equal to some uh, non-zero integers, then there will be four solutions. If I reverse the values, mod of x minus five is equal to one and mod of y minus five is equal to two, then again, there will be four solutions, right? Similarly, we can check for sum equal to four, So here the possibilities are that this is zero, this is four. In this case, there will be two solutions. This is four, this is zero. In this case, there will be two solutions. This is three and this is one. So both are non-zero integers. In this case, there will be four solutions. This is two, this is two. Again, there will be four solutions because both are non-zero non integers. And if this is one and this is three, then there will again be four in the four pairs, right? So four solutions. So if the sum is equal to four, there will be these many solutions. Similarly, if the sum is equal to five, mod of x minus five plus mod of y minus five, the sum is equal to five. If this is five, this is zero, there will be two solutions. If this is zero, this will, if this is five, there will be two solutions again. This is four, this is one, four solutions. This is three, this is two, four solutions. This is two, this is three. There will be again four solutions. And this is one, this is four, four solutions. So these many solutions, right? And the last, if the sum mod of x minus five and mod of y minus five, the sum is six. So this can be six, this can be zero because one of them is zero to two solutions. If this is zero, this is six, then again, two solutions. If this is five and one, four solutions, uh, four and two, four solutions again, three and three, four solutions again, two and four, four solutions again, one and five, 
four solutions again so that uh, all total number of solutions we just have to add all the number of solutions so let us count how many four solutions do we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen and fifteen so fifteen set of four solutions have we have received so 15 into 4 now, then how many two solutions have we got 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right so 12 so we can say 15 into 4 plus 12 into 2 then how many one uh, did we get? So we got only one one that is in the first case. So plus one. So this should be 60. This should be 24 and this is one. So answer should be 85. So that will be the answer. So we'll get total 85 pairs of X and Y.